paper and I'll have a lot. Um, the second thing it, the E does is that it reduces its cooldown every time you take an auto, which also works with Urgot's W, which means that when I all in him and his L W is firing at me, he's reducing the cooldown of my E and increasing my own damage back at him. So not only am I reducing the damage he's doing, but I'm increasing my own. Thanks, Urgot. And once I have Frozen Fist, I can casually kill him. It will actually be funny. He will not expect it. Most people do not expect this. Yeah, he hasn't played that much Urgot. Presumably, I don't actually know. I've played more Mumu on my alt account than this guy's played Urgot on presumably his main. This is level 149. That's not Zack and he wasn't banned. Thing is, I picked the movement because he's a soft counter. Hmm. Let's go with the Corrupted Potion. Okay. I like going the Duran Shield. Um, in general, I'm mostly going to be looking to farm and level up. Oh god. You're hideous! fuck is this? Ugh. He looks like a predator, but uglier. Somehow. No, no, play, I'm playing another cheat. Okay, you do have a good point, Chance. Thing is, Zack doesn't do nearly as well under Urgot as Amumu does. Zack gets outscaled. Not as a team fighter, but as a duelist. Ninja Tab, easy game. Yeah, Frozen Fist is a wonderfully strong item on a Moo Moo. And I gave him what I could. It's not a great leash, but it's a leash. I'm sorry I'm not ever got this game. I would have loved to have given you an actual leash, but he took it. And I will make him suffer. Dares bring her god against me. Smack. I got him! I got him! See that? That's the power. He did start call, smart boy. Shit, I might have to. I'm okay. He can't kill me. Oh god. Whew! Yeah, he took E level 1, but he also took Q level 2. Oh, that's cute. This is an uh, easy kill right now. If Rangar were to gank right now, easy fucking kill. Oddly enough, I can still kill him right now. I just really want the Rangar to show up. It would be so easy. Ah, oh, the Rangar is okay. If only the Rangar came to gank, it would be a free kill instead of him potentially getting killed. An ally has been slain. This is what I get. Okay. This is what I get for playing on a low level account. safe. He's got too much mana right now. It was really dumb of him to burn his flash on that E-flash attempt. It never had a chance. Aww. Notice how he lost that fight? Notice how he lost that fight? 
I didn't let him get any shotgun blasts off. Teleport. I didn't lose too much life. I lost quite a bit freezing it, but I froze. Totally worth. I don't, I really would have preferred actually getting armor instead of this mana crystal, but the mana crystal may end up working out in my favor. And yeah, he's missing out on a lot of farming experience. It's a mistake that he didn't teleport. He's throwing away his advantage. Yeah. I can keep the wave here. I just really want the Rengar to gank. his mana so fast. Every Q costs 80 mana, something to keep in mind. God damn it. Minion AI is still one of those things, right? It just won't fix. Come play with me. And yeah, Ranger's just not coming. Anymore. I mean, he is only a level 4, but this is getting annoying. It would not be difficult to make a game. Oh no, I'm dead. Ah, uh, my my W, my W. I needed one more auto to finish him off. He just hit six. I was six when he was, and he managed to hit six in the middle of the fight. I thought I had an opportunity to kill him. Damn. Very fucking close. Very fucking close. So far, this lane has been very fucking close. Oh, God, it's so annoying not having a jungler. It's so annoying. Because this Urgot is doing stupid shit, right? He is hard shoving into a lane opponent who has a lot of hard CC, which is a bad idea to do when a jungler could just come and murder your ass. Unfortunately, my jungler has not taken advantage of that. My jungler has spent the entire time farming and dying. This is one of the things, I'm sure if I was in Plat, I would have gotten that gank. Because the, the gank was set up. He didn't need any effort to make a kill there. The Urgot had no flash and 10% of his health. And it wasn't like the, uh, the Rengar wasn't in the area. He was. He just chose not to do anything. He chose to go to his jungle camps and die. Now I have a disadvantage. I still I will outscale him eventually, but I, it's going to take much longer now. I'm not going to get a gank. I can already feel it. This Rangar is never going to give me a gank. An assassin not ganking for a high CC tank. Truly baffling. Maybe that's the reason why you're in... How sad is that, that my W does that little damage? Yeah, I'm afraid you're not getting out of this one, buddy. See, this is what I'm talking about. It doesn't require any effort to make these ganks work. It's just that easy. Alright, so I think I need another like five or six hundred gold. 
It was really nice that the Rancor did give me the kill. I'll give him points for that. The cannon, god damn it. This is four points in my E doing less than 5% of the cannon's life. Never mind, this is a great idea. Where are you going so fast, buddy? Oh, I'm sorry, my bandage toss will follow you to the ends of the earth. My mistake! Wow, that was a terrible call on their part. Holy shit, was that an awful call. If you just let me get that fucking minion, I would have had enough money without needing to sell the corrupting potion. But I will sell it. I can't. I can't imagine a situation where I don't get frozen fists and I have the opportunity. Just leave it at that. You'll notice something really funny happen now in this fight, this matchup against the uh, Urgot. I will now casually destroy him. Let's find some you think to yourself, no way, Amumu casually destroyed Urgot? But he's almost nine. Just you wait. I am losing a bit too much life here. Yeah, that was a lot more life than I would have liked to lose. Wait, he's not nine yet. Are you fucking serious? You want to fight me, dude? You want to fight me? Huh? This is what I'm talking about. Right there. At this point, I casually hard counter. the BM advice. <laughs> it's genuine advice. It's not BM. Okay, it kind of is BM. I should have told him in champ select so he wouldn't pick Urgot. When, when could I have actually given him this advice where it isn't BM? It's actual advice. It's genuine advice. Don't... Like, if you don't know who your lane opponent is, they can pick a Moomoo -moo and soft carry. This is genuine advice. Moomoo -moo sounds like a house. Thrill house. I haven't even... I've just put in my name! Oh, this fucker took the damn... I was hoping to catch him on the rotation. If I caught him on the rotation, I could have fucked him over so bad. And also, I really like the fact that he isn't going Cleaver first. Not smart. This is coming from experience.
I rotated, but my only option was to potentially stop him from going over that wall, but that wasn't his goal, apparently. I mean, just look at this. This isn't fair, right? That's just not fair, right? He has literally nothing he can do about this. The chain CC is stark. I hit him with my Q. I hit him with my R. My Q is up again. I hit him with my Q. This is an absolutely dead lane now. Life isn't fair. Not for the Urgot, no. No, it is not. Yeah, so let's just get more armor since he didn't go Cleaver. I'll get a Bramble Vest just to truly make his life a nightmare since he is going since he is going for Death Stance first. Bramble Vest will ruin him. Now this is this is so bad. I am at least a thousand gold ahead of him now. Maybe not a thousand, but I'm way off. Smart Rangar, smart. It looks like their bot lane abandoned bot side giving us the bot turret. Or for me to TP too. Mine! Late. There was no good words for me to TP too. Could have done a lot of damage to that turret. Whatever, I could do a lot of damage to this turret. Minions, gather around! I will tell you a story! I swear it does not come out of my ass. You want to fight me too? I can assure you it will not end well. I do like that the Kale is splitting top lane. I just got another kill. This is so bad. The movie feels so broken when you get this item. God, it's disgusting. Um, and now I know what we need. We need a Leandre's Torment. Because tell me, what makes a Perma Slow even better? Oh, I know. Percent max life damage. That also does more when they're slow. Yeah, let's go. Oh, this is this is just nasty. That skin wasn't true for Setterly. Yeah. Oh, she's dead. She's just dead. Yeah, <laughs> that's slow. Oh, that was a wicked slow. I'm coming. Oh my God, that leap. Oh my god, that fucking Lee. Oh. No, you're fighting me now. Oh! Uh, I was gonna flash Q him. And then he had to go and stealth. I still have my R. I can kill him if he's not, if he actually tries to defend that turret. I will just insta jib him. He doesn't have enough health to defend this. Look at that damage. Look at that wonderful damage. That sweet chin music. Do you actually want to fight me, dude? I don't think you want to fight me. I have a shitload of armor. I will wreck you. I'm coming as... Oh, he doesn't need help. He doesn't need the fucking help. So there it is. We should be coming sooner or later for this. Aww. 
Oh my god, that Ezar! Oh my god, that Ezar did so much damage! I don't have any mana. Who needs mana? Oh, I'm screwed. Oh, I'm screwed! Oh man, they sent the whole goon squad for me! <laughs> oh. And there goes one. He was gonna be dead. They all got away, huh? That's disappointing. I think whatever, these guys are getting destroyed across the map. Killing me, while two of them nearly die in the process, and the only reason why I don't pick up a kill at the end is because I ran out of mana, that's not a good sign. That's a really bad sign. If I had a hundred more mana, I would have gotten another kill or two. The bandage toss would have gotten me a kill. Easy. Oh, that turret's dead. Yeah, you better run, Talon. Uh, uh, oh! Oh, no! She almost got that one, too. And he's gone! Caught you! <laughs> oh yeah! Long arm of the law in bandage form. Zack isn't the only one who has a long arm of the law on his side. Even Amumu is a student of law and order. Let's rotate towards this. They don't need my help. They don't need my help at all. This is an Ezreal, you mean the Ezreal is 10 and 3. They do not need my help. Oh! Lucky bastard. Lucky bastard. If that Q hit him, he was gonna die. We would have just popped him. I don't have my R, but it would have been nasty. I am running out of mana again. I need to get more mana, huh? I know what I need. I need a Seraph's Embrace, right? Maybe that will allow me to keep my mana up. I'm kidding. I need it in a abyss. Where's the corpse? Who did he kill? I didn't see him. This Ezreal's a genius. No, we can keep fighting here. I like this. I am way too strong right now. And this Ezra is even stronger. Uh. And of course, the Kale's just doing Kale things. Just splitting. I'm helping. I'm helping! I'm gonna get the last hit. Mine! Oh. No! Oh, I didn't teleport in time! This Kale's a genius and I'm an idiot. I saw him flash, and it took me too long to realize what was happening. By the time he started the teleport, it was too late for me. Uh, good stuff. Wait, what did the Ezreal say? <laughs> Ooh, look, we did it. Ooh, look, we did it. Um, the Ezreal did beautiful. Brought a tear to this young Mumu's eye. I mean, the tears were constantly flowing. They never actually stopped. But the point is, he brought a happy tear to my eye. Oh! Yeah! Ugh. You'll type so much for a silver one player. All AD comps, baby. Gimme, gimme. I mean, in this case, he's not kidding. Ezra being able to rush an Iceborne Gauntlet. Against a team that's almost entirely physical damage. Whew. Ah, that's a team that's going to struggle. That's a team that's going to struggle. 
Ezreal is basically the only AD champion in the game that can, as his first item, buy a tank item. And that helps him scale his damage. Is there any other AD carry that can build Iceborne Gauntlet? Is there any other AD carry where this makes sense? No. So yeah, he's right. They built they built an AD comp, and this Ezreal couldn't have been happier. And this Amumu couldn't have been happier either. Look at this. These three items. Let's look at my damage mitigation. Let's just see. Yeah. Yeah. I was the damage mitigation king. And it wasn't that I wasn't doing damage. I was. I did more damage than anyone on the enemy team. Did I also do more damage than the Kale, or was it the Rengar? I did more damage than the Rengar. I did more damage as Tank Amumu than a Rengar Assassin Jungle did. And also, it wasn't because of a lack of kills. He was 724. Our kill participation, he actually had one more kill participation than me in a shitload more farm. He did less damage than I mean, you saw, that was just not fair to the other guy. I do feel sorry for him. Once I had Frozen Fist, the lane was a dead lane. He just didn't know it yet. This item gives so much power. Ah, double my auto attack damage after every ability I use. 20% CDR. Like, that's the other thing you noticed, I'm sure, in that game. Once I got the Iceborne Gauntlet, I was able to do a Q into an R into another Q. The cooldown is enough at that point to be able to chain CC my opponent. And with the slow that the Iceborne Gauntlet is giving me after every one of those abilities, there's just nothing Urgot can do. He's stuck in a trail of molasses. And he already self-slows with his W. It just leaves the poor guy feeling limp. So not only am I reducing your damage massively, I'm increasing my own damage and slowing you down. This is a triple whammy against Urgot. Absolute devastation. All right, let's see if the PB is up. 